Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we are listening for our money, finances, career, the dinero, baby. So this read is going to get right to the points, all right? We're going to talk about all of this things, finances, and any special messages that come out. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with me and hanging out. Hopefully, you will stick around. Also, hit that like, that share, and come join me on Instagram where we go live on Tuesdays at 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are talking all about anything you like at happy hour, all right? Now, returning family members, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Let's jump into this reading. Immediately, you are moving from the darkness to the light. We are in transition. We're moving forward, and we're looking good. We got our crown adjusted. The third could be very important for you. You could be leaving a position, moving up in a position, or changing jobs. Breathe. It's going to be okay. This is my Glenn Close card because I swear it looks like Glenn Close, okay? And she just was just like in a movie like recently and it like blew my mind. Anyways, the 3rd, the 11th could be very important and the 29th. This energy is telling you you're going to be at the right time at the right place. And to confirm that energy of the prayers and manifestations coming, here it is. Poised. This is my I love what you do for me, Toyota. All right, yes, we're going to get it. We're going to get the job. We're going to get the recognition. People going to know your name, baby. All right, what does Between Worlds want us to know? Receipts. Make sure that you do your taxes. Make sure that you're filing. Make sure that everything is in order and keep the receipts as well as screenshots. All right, yep, breathe. They're hiring. You're going to get that position if you're looking and Understand that you are going to get this debt solutionized, okay? Because we're about to get some new assets, okay? Yeah. Exciting, exciting. Uh, I apologize. My allergies are just like really, really bad right now. Bless these cards. Show us these energies for our beautiful Libras as we go through the month of September. What do we have? What do they need to know? We have judgments. You had a really tough decision about how you were going to leave a situation, how you were going to move forward. You might have been reading a lot of messages, going through messages and emails and thinking, is this really working for me? And then we have the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all had an online interview, okay? I think it went well. And then we have the Six of Swords because the King of Pentacles said, Ben Paca, mommy, I got you. You're hired, all right? Get on the bus, boo. We're going to offer you more money and more stability. And there's also this opportunity for you to be more creative um, at this position, the Ten of Pentacles with the Empress. And, so, and for some of y'all who are entrepreneurs, you are creating a family business and it's going to be successful. Overall, we have the devil. That's probably why we need the receipts. You might be overspending a little much. You might get a little too carried away. So make sure that you don't overspend, don't overwork, and you don't over... Um, what is it? Overcompensate by saying yes to everything when you should be saying a no, okay? Like, no, I can't do that. No, that's not going to happen. And you're just like over there, oh, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Don't worry about it. Take it easy, okay? So let's look at this judgment card. What does this mean for you? What does judgment mean? We made a choice. I feel like it was a really tough decision of the Eight of Swords. And you see right here, he's very upset. Some of y'all might have been told, like, this position is over, we're going to move in a different direction, or you felt like, man, I just am not doing well at this position. You felt like you have, what is that, imposter syndrome? And then the King of Pentacles, whether you're leaving this position or you're talking to your boss, they're like, we love you here at the Six of Swords, okay? We, we like, look here, you're like the superstar, buddy. We love you. We love it. And then you're like, you know what? I am successful. This is about you also getting the confidence that you need. Some of y'all might be taking a vacation, a much needed vacation. Ten of Pentacles is saying the higher fit. Yes, this is higher love, higher money, and getting hired, period. I'm going to put your hired, okay? You're going to get recognized also. I feel like you're going to get a lot of recognition this month. What does the Empress want you to know? It's just in your, it's just in your fortune, baby. It's the wheel of fortune okay this is an opportunity are you gonna land on vacation are you gonna land on a car what are we doing okay because you are in full control with the empress and the devil wants you to know six of cups 
this makes me think like those narratives that you told yourself in the past, like, oh, I'm never, I'm not going to be good enough. That's not for me. I'm not going to make it. That's got to stop. Okay. Because you're going to be at the right place at the right time. You're going to get the position that you want. You're going to get to do everything that you want to do because you deserve it. You could be seeing the number three, 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 66 or 666. Okay. Um, but there's this energy about you just really being in the spotlight okay and it's so interesting because i brought alfredo out this is my um i don't know if you can see him this is one of my favorite crystals and um i like to bring him out and i only brought him out for your read like i, I usually stays by my bed but i just thought he needed to come out here and so i'm telling you if you felt like you were betrayed wherever you were at like you were about to walk into a period or a season of full abundance this is some very beautiful energy coming in for you so looking at these numbers definitely pay attention to the third definitely pay attention to the sixth the ninth the eleventh the twelfth the 29th okay and let's just get some, another number, the 10th, okay? So that 9th, 10th, and 11th, which is really funny because even in your love read, that was a very important time for you too. Um, overall, you're going to get the job. You're going to move into that position, and it's just your destiny, okay? It's your destiny. We're going to use these butterfly cards. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a shot, okay? There are some of y'all who are having to take care of parents or there's some parenting issues that could cause like difficulties of like taking that trip or taking that position, okay? Your body is changing a lot. I think if you were in a highly stressful period or a highly stressful job, like you started noticing the cortisol phase, you started not having the sleep, then you, you're just like really tired, but that's about to completely change. You do have a major decision. And you're going to get signs from heaven, okay? <laughs> like heavenly signs. Like Alfredo might show up. I'm just like, um, you could possibly find yourself finding pennies, feathers, um, seeing synchroni synchronicities with numbers, um, hearing conversations that are confirmations to you. Like you're eating dinner and someone says, yeah, they picked you. And you're like, what? Uh, like, you know, like, but they're talking to each other. They're not talking to you, but it's a confirmation for you. Some of y'all could even be having a lot of dreams. You're healing from what they did in the past, like not feeling good enough at your job. You're healing from this eight of swords. The 28th could be important. And you're going to get that courage you need to make that decision. That decision to put yourself first and move to the next level. Oh, my card is torn. Then it's the memories card. Some of those memories that you have where you weren't enough or you weren't picked for a position, you have to start looking at that as like your protection, like you were meant for greater things. And we're going to release that, but that negative self-talk and we're going to move forward. And even if we have to listen to subliminals, do that. I listen to subliminals every night. I listen to my dream life. I listen to like all kinds of stuff because, you know, sometimes the stories that's playing in our head isn't isn't the right one it's the one that we felt like we weren't enough the one that we have to prove ourselves and in this situation right now where you're at things are looking really really good okay so let's just get some final closing messages what else do they need to know about money and finances and career blocks with the mountain blocks to your security new with the child Coming in real quick. There's something coming in quick. It's coming in hot, okay? Be careful for people who are jealous of you, especially a female who is very curvy and um, possibly a boss, okay? Because you're getting keys to exactly what you want. You're getting that block removed. Your abundance is about to come through. But there is someone who is a little jealous and doesn't want that for you. Maybe they applied for that position too and they just thought it was going to automatically come to them and it goes to you. Or you're just going into a new company and someone's like, who the hell do they think they are? And you're like, I'm your new boss. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Closing messages for you. Your new job or your new your new situation can open up doors for uh, romance to happen. More affirmations in the mirror would be beneficial. You're going to be falling in love very soon, Libra. And I also feel like people at work are starting to see your worth. You're starting to see your worth also. You're healing from the past. 
and you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. Some of y'all are leaving your position and taking that new one. And your doors to happiness are being open. So I also feel like you're walking away from like your old narrative of, yeah, I'm never going to get that raise. I'm never going to be good enough to, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to go for it. Okay. And because you took that chance, you get it. Let's close off with the four agreements cards. I'm just dropping everything today. I need to go take some cold medicine or something. Okay, let's see here. What do we have for Libra? We have right here, don't make assumption, discern the truth. There's something about keys this month. Pay attention to your keys. Don't lose your keys. Keep them very close to you. Also, don't give anyone the key to your house or to your office or to your file cabinet. All right, the problem with making assumptions is that we believe that they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand. We take it personally. Then we react. Sounds like my life. <laughs> By sending emotional poison with our word, this creates a whole big drama for nothing, okay? Stop hurting your own feelings. Don't take anything personally, okay? Ignore the opinions of others. It says, F them and do you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, but that's how I would sum it up. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief system. So whatever you think about you, Whatever they think about you is not about you, but it is about them. Ow, okay, I am rubber, you are glue. Whatever you think of me sticks to you. Kick a trash can or something on the way out. No, I'm just kidding, don't, don't do that. Final card, again, don't make assumptions. So mainly don't make assumptions, don't think things personally when it comes to work and career, and don't be gossiping. I, when you see this dog's face, and you got the dog in your love read. I think you're getting a dog, Libra. I think you're getting a new pet. <laughs> I don't have a dog because I have allergies. Anyways, look at this blue healer. I think it's a blue healer. He's like, bitch, don't be got girl. Look at his face. Girl, no. Mm -mm. Making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we're right. And then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. Baby. Pay attention to who's loyal to you because you're going to find out the doggone energy. All right. I hope you have a beautiful month. Take care. Have a beautiful birthday. Come hang out with me on Instagram and let's be friends. Take care.